I'm Tom Wall and I run Sorenzo Props here in Glasgow where I make props, replicas, costumes and all sorts of weird and wonderful things. I always liked making things, um, even as a child I was always making and drawing and using my imagination to try and create great things and I went to study architecture thinking that's the best thing a grown up could do was to build houses and I slowly realised that, that was not for me. Um, so I decided to make to learn how to make models, thinking I could make model houses. And during that time, I was asked to make a theatre prop. And doing the research for that, I realised that there was a whole huge community of people who make props and replicas from movies, from video games, from television. And I had no idea that you could go and do something. Obviously, I knew that these things existed and people were making them for the movies, but I never thought that you could make them yourself. And watching what people had posted on the internet, showing their progress, I realized this is something that I could do that was far more interesting than building tiny houses. The first prop that I made was the reverse bear trap from the first Saw movie, which was a hell of a lot of fun. It was relatively simple to build. Um, and when I put it on the internet, people went crazy over it. It's a really kind of rusty, rickety looking thing. And I had a lot of fun doing that. And just seeing the reaction of people and what they thought of that prop kind of got me hooked on it a little bit. Um, it was about the time that another prop artist was making a Daft Punk helmet. And this was something that I had wanted to do all my life, was to own a Daft Punk helmet. And I'd said it numerous times before that oh, I should build one, I can build one, I can totally build one. But seeing that somebody else had done it, I knew that I had to be the next one to do it. By far, like the Daft Punk helmets is where I started and it's something that I've been working on continuously for five, six years now. And obviously when I get a finished helmet shipped off to a client, when I get the photographs back from the photographer, they look incredible and I'm so proud of them. But sometimes just doing what I call a one day build where I build something from start to finish just using scrap that I have lying around my workshop, it really, really makes me feel good that I have created that in a short period of time. And uh, although it's you know, relatively inexpensive and took next to no time in comparison to six years for a Daft Punk helmet, um, I'm really proud of them. I, I still use the expression, when I grow up, I want to be, um, and we'll drop in something cool, depending on the conversation. But there are times when I'm down in the workshop or when I'm, you know, seeing my stuff on the internet, sharing a video or sharing a picture. And um, yeah, I find it really hard to believe that this is the path that I ended up and these are the things that I make and I make them for a living. Um, I would never have dreamt this, you know, seven years ago before I stepped foot into that college course. Um, that I would end up doing that. I always thought I was going to be a boring architect and that would be it. Um, and it's a great feeling to know that I'm doing something like this. I don't know what the future is going to hold, I don't know what direction it's going to take, but I'm kind of okay with that. Um, dream build changes all the time. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be greedy, I'm going to go for a couple because there's some things I just can't leave out. Um, I'd love to build a suit of armour, um, specifically the one from Pacific Rim. Uh, not Pacific Rim, Pacific Rim. <laughs> um, it's just a, an immensely detailed piece of armour that I would love to have the time um, and the money to get at. Um, I would also love to build a huge big kaiju suit, a big original Godzilla or something like that, something I could stomp around a little cardboard city. Um, and then I've also always dreamed of building a huge big mech suit, so I'm kind of going for the kaiju and the mech. Um, but at the moment, top of my list would be the, the loader from Aliens, I love that. Um, and Diva's mech from the game Overwatch. Uh, so there are some of the things that I would love to build if I had all the time and all the money. I never set out what saying I was going to be a prop maker. It's one of these things that kind of happened and the path seemed like the right choice at the time. 
um, and there are a lot of people now that are seeing this as an option, as a choice, as a career. Um, and most of us who have made it have kind of done it spur of the moment. It was kind of a rash decision and we just kind of went with a, a gut feeling. I don't think the environment is right to do that now. I think you need to be smart about it. You need to make for the love of making. And if you can sell some stuff, brilliant. And if you can get to a point where you're selling enough and you're getting enough commissions and you can actually make money to not have a full-time job, then all by all means, go for it. But under no circumstances should you just quit your job and start making stuff because it's tough. It is really tough. But if you love making and if you really enjoy it and you have a passion for it, um, you'll, you'll get there. You'll get there in the end. You just need to be patient and always make sure you have fun. If you're not having fun, you're definitely doing it wrong.